come Andre Ward hasn't lost since he's 12, last American gold medalist. Why have an American embraced him? Um, I think he had a legitimate right against the way his career was being handled. And people could blame him, he's difficult, that may be true. Uh, you know, there are parts of Andre that are very stubborn, which is the same thing with Floyd. And when Floyd turned down $2 million a year contract, and it was like, he called it a slave contract, everyone jumped on him, what are you crazy, you're a junior lightweight who can't punch and you don't have a gold medal. Uh, you can't, two million's great. Uh, apparently he was right, just made 200 million in one fight. Um, Gandhi has the same way. You gotta go after these guys and knock on, I'm just gonna fight the way I their, their styles in the ring are an extension of their personalities. Um, it's part of what makes them good. You know, it's, it's difficult to say, well, be this great fighter, but now in this respect, change this part of who you are. It's tough. Andre Ward has connected. If you look at the fights promoted in Oakland, he, he packed, what, 9, 10,000 people there. He did what Terrence Crawford did in Omaha. But Terrence Crawford is praised for bringing this crowd in Omaha, and Andre Ward is ridiculed for not drawing, you know, 300 miles outside of Oakland where he doesn't draw. He, you need to be built properly. Floyd was criticized for not selling tickets, for being booed. Um, I remember at the time the big question was who was better, Floyd or Shane? And a lot of people said Shane because they were trying to impose their subjective preferences in terms of style of fight on the objective reality of who's better. And, and as I said on the broadcast on the Rigandau, the Rigandau fight today, the, that boxing is different from all the other sports in the sense that it's not just about who's better, it's also about entertainment. However, underneath it all, what is it about? It is a sport. Like, sports are entertainment, but they're a specific kind of entertainment. They're competitive. And ultimately, the most important thing is establishing the hierarchy. That's the most important thing. Who is better? You play the playoffs in the NFL, of course, you, it's entertainment, you gotta sell it to the fans, but the point is, ostensibly, to find out who's the best. That's why you play, to see who wins and loses. Sometimes the team that wins is a boring team. But, but you, 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 don't, you don't play the, the Super Bowl that year because you think the team's gonna be boring in the World Series. So boxing underneath it really is about that. And I've had arguments with promoters about who you'd rather have in your stable, for example, Chavez Jr. or Triple G. And they were arguing Chavez Jr., Mexican son of a great fighter, big and strong, da da da. And, I, and who's Kazakhstan? No one knows him, he's already 30 years old. And my argument at the time was put your money on the blue chip guy, and you figure, the, the rest will figure itself out. Triple G is never going to be as big as Sugar Ray Leonard. You know, that doesn't look like it's in the offing. But he could be damn big, and he's going to be around a lot longer than a guy like Chavez Jr., who's just not a great fighter. So, so you know, it is underneath it all, whether people like it or not, which is why Floyd Mayweather was a much more successful fighter in and out of the ring than Shane Mosley, who many in boxing preferred for his risk-taking, for his offensive style, for the knockouts, for his friendly kind of demeanor outside the ring. And, and as soon as Floyd... First it was he's boring, he's small, he's not a knockout puncher, he doesn't have a gold medal. And then it was, well, yeah, he's selling now because of 24-7 and he, because he's talking outside the ring. There's always an excuse why he started, you know, uh, 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 it has to be a heavyweight or else it has to be a Mexican or Mexican-American fighter. Well, how do you explain Manny Pacquiao from the Philippines? Right? They, they always want the next guy to look like the last guy. Which is why I'm guilty, that everyone's guilty of that, which is why we talked about Bronner last time. Well, Bronner, he's like Mayweather. The next guy doesn't always look like the last guy. Sometimes they don't look anything like the last guy. You know who the next guy was after Muhammad Ali? It was Sugar Ray Leonard, who kind of looked like the last guy, but he was a welterweight. Then the next guy was Mike Tyson, who was like a come forward killer heavyweight. And then the next guy was Oscar De La Hoya, who was a, who was a, a, a little uh, junior lightweight Mexican an American fighter when he started. And then who and then the next guy was Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao. And now who's going to be next? It's not going to be the guy who looks just like the last guy or the or, or the way it's always been is the way it's always going to be. It's not like that. And and when people it, but but uh, but I'll go back. I know I'm rambling. I'll go no, back. No, this is talk, great. Talk, 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 talk. I'll, I'll go back to the to the first point, which is people want their subjective preferences to be the objective reality. They wanted Shane to be better than Floyd, to be more popular than Floyd. In fact, and Shane is one of my all-time favorites. He was a great fighter, love that guy. But in fact, Floyd was better, 
and more successful and a bigger ticket seller. And you might not like it and you might want to change the rules so you get your preferences. And I don't even have a problem with that. If you want to say, if from now on, if you clinch one time in a round, that's a point deduction. Like if it wasn't just because your bodies were close to each other, you got tangled. If you reach for a guy and clinch, you, we're taking a point. You do it three times in a round, you're DQ'd. Fine. You are changing the rules of the sport to get the product that you prefer. The NFL does it. Rules committee. NFL football started as soccer. The Ivy Leagues. No one was watching it because it's boring. Uh, sorry, soccer fans. It's boring. I don't want to tell you. You might grow up with it. You love it. It's boring. Baseball's boring too. I love it because I grew up with it. But I know it's because I grew up with it, not because it's exciting. And, and, and the deans of the Ivy Leagues said, how can we make something that Pete that's good?